How was number eight? It was good. It was really, really good. <laughs> and I only had six pieces of those. Thank you very much. I gave them. It wasn't eight. They're all cut in half. I count those as halves. So I ate a total of six, <laughs> which is somewhere around like 3,000 calories it's maybe. It's fine. We did our French toast again. I showed it last week. Uh, and that was what he requested again. And, and then he said for next week, same thing. I mean, we made this like a thing where we can have whatever we want, and we haven't veered. <laughs> I think French toast. Guess what? What? This is our last vlog until Vlogmas. Dude, God, yep. It? it worked out good this year wow. because Vlogmas falls on, obviously, December 1st is a Sunday. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, and we'll be going. So, Vlogmas day one will be like prep mm -hmm. into Vlogmas. Yeah. Usually the first one is always a little longer because okay. I've got more days versus just the right. day before. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. But yeah. 26 days. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh are you ready for that? No. Because you're the one that always like burns out. Yeah. You guys are going to see me and like my whole like my mood changes throughout the week. Like uh, any typical woman. <laughs> You'll experience it with me. <laughs> But I just think it's funny though because it just goes to show like how much work is not just this part. This part's fun. Yeah. But all like the post production to make it all cute and cut right and take <laughs> out all the profanity I say. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, that stuff takes time. That takes time. <laughs> so like when you see a vlog and it's a forty minute vlog, it really took like four hours to mm -hmm. make it. Well when you're doing that daily yeah. But still, they're only like 15 to 20 minutes. That's still like two to three hours worth of work a day. Luckily, this oh, yeah, the laptop will help and I can like do it in bed with my eyes half closed. <laughs> Last year, I didn't have that. So when she forgets to post, it means that she forgot to <laughs> Fell save asleep. It. Fell asleep. <laughs> yep. Anyway. But, yeah. Nate went and picked up Starbucks, obviously. I did. Thank you. We're looking at these uh, coupon books because we're going to go buy... Uh, Costco, I think we need gas and oh, maybe the go macro bars. Yeah, that's what it was. That's what it was. <laughs> and then they have like special stuff depending on like what part of the month it is for like up until Christmas. I kind of need new knives. Not those ones. I don't want those. I don't like the color and it matters. Yeah, we'll because see. They cut things. You have gotten so spoiled. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Look at your face. Oh, bear. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do as soon as I'm done digesting. digesting. Yeah, I can only have two pieces. I mean, it is divine, but I can't do more. Like, I already feel it going that's through my little, veins. That's your little baby tummy. Uh, I can't do it. Can't do it. I'm good. I could eat more, but uh. I kind of hurt myself last week. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday morning. By the way, that reminds me, I think I'm going to see if I can get it on demand. But I think uh, It Chapter 2, which I, we did see in theater, I think came out this morning. I gotta check on that. It's a long movie. I can have that on in the background because today I am going to be doing a video for you guys that'll actually be up before this if all goes to plan of like Thanksgiving sides and I'm really excited about it. Now originally I was going to do a like kind of cook with us type thing but to be honest for Nate's world right now of working uh, in retail the week prior to Thanksgiving, especially in wine land, <laughs> you guys know it's at Total Wine, uh, is insanity. It's, it's very, very busy. They, it's funny, they're like the opposite of Black Friday, where I guess Black Friday, he's actually off that day because it's like, it's so like not busy, but the day before Thanksgiving is crazy. Yeah, so, so I just don't think we're going to have the time. That's the truth. Like, I don't, he's not off and we need time to do it and adequate lighting to do it, all that. But I thought instead then, since we did do the vegan roast for you guys too and kind of gave our opinions on that, we got that out there. I thought I would make a video with like four Thanksgiving sides, including gravy, because I know a lot of you requested for like a vegan gravy recipe and I got you. So <laughs> that's the plan. But again, it's Tuesday morning. 
I actually just had my finished my root canal, thank God, yesterday. And it's a little tender. It's actually not nearly as bad as the first round. Remember like three weeks ago, I had to go and get it done and they didn't finish and I had to go back. Well, that was what yesterday was. Well, that first round, I was sore for like two to three days, which maybe is normal, but like I'm just not super sensitive in my teeth and it got me. <laughs> It did, and I'm feeling it today, but not nearly as bad. But I wanted to take a day off from the gym because, the, again, the idea, of, I mentioned this before, like jumping up and down and running and having your teeth hit, no, <laughs> I'm not doing it. So I'll go tomorrow, it's fine, we'll live. And uh, I thought I would spend today doing some filming. And food videos are super fun to do. I actually really like editing them. I have fun with that because there's a lot of footage and I actually enjoy editing but they take a long time. They take a long time to edit and to film. So there's dishes over here. You can't see that, that's good. But uh, it's 9.40 in the morning and I just got home already, which is good, that means I got a good start. Uh, from Trader Joe's and from Sprouts. And I wanna show you a few items that I got and uh, what I need for this you know, video I'm gonna do, but also some other cool items that I'm kind of excited, kind of bummed that I missed because uh, let you know, know about it if you can get your hands on it because they're kind of cool. Anyway, let me show you. So again, I just put everything into one bag, but it's a little mini haul for you guys. I went ahead from uh, Sprouts and got these stick butters. They're the Earth Balance butters. You get four sticks in each one. And uh, this will be good for some of the recipes I'm gonna use. And they were on sale for two for seven. And then I wanted to get, I'm gonna do, actually like a new recipe I've never done, but I was kind of looking online and that's how I kind of get recipe ideas. I think like the rest of us, it's not that you really take necessarily someone's recipe and completely copy it. I mean, I've done that, of course, but like, I still want to put my own spin to things. I, that's why I also love, uh, do you like how I'm holding this? Uh, I also love non-vegan cookbooks. I have like the, almost the whole collection of Barefoot Contessa cookbooks. She's one of my favorites on Food Network and she's not vegan at all, but I just like to take recipes, see them for what they are, and then find how I can like alter them, you know, and make them not only vegan, but maybe even a little different. So I'm just saying, I don't know, I like to do that. But I was looking and I found these acorn squashes, like a recipe for stuffed ones. And I thought it'd be really good. I have an idea with it too. Let me show you actually. This is probably like totally repetitive if you actually watch the video already, but you can kind of see where my mind is going to make this video. But uh, the acorn squashes, and then the idea was, was like to stuff them with like some kind of grain um, and mix it with like holiday type flavors, traditional flavors. And I was thinking like a quinoa and like cranberries and stuff. But then I remember I had this from Trader or from Whole Foods. It's the Pharaoh Pilaf, and it's pumpkin and sage flavor. And I can add some more stuff to this too. I think it's gonna be delicious. So that was the idea with that, but I already had that. But yeah, I got two of these from Trader Joe's. I don't remember the price, but they weren't too bad. Uh, I needed to get some more just regular flour. So I got that at Trader Joe's too, just all purpose flour. It's kind of everywhere. Uh, I feel like flour, I will have this for like a year and it lasts for like two, so <laughs> we're good. I don't know, regular flour is not something I really use all that often. I'll always use like oat flour or whole wheat flour, um, coconut flour now I like a lot, but I think for certain recipes when you're trying to make something really thick, sometimes you just gotta go with the real thing. I also went ahead and got some miso paste. This is from uh, Sprouts and I wanna say, oh, I don't remember if Trader Joe's has this or not, I don't, think so. But uh, miso paste is going to be what the primary base of, or flavoring base, I should say, of uh, the gravy. For me, what I really like this one a lot is it's not a mushroom-based gravy. Now, I think those are great. And if that's something you normally like, go and find a mushroom-based recipe uh, to recreate a vegan one. You guys just know for me, I don't like mushrooms, I just don't. So I like to find some kind of alternative and I gotta believe there's other people out there that don't like them either. Uh, so this is for you. <laughs> uh, I also wanted to get this glaze. If you've ever not, if you have not had this before, please get it, it's so good. It's a glaze of balsamic and I'm gonna put that actually like on top of a few of the recipes too. But seriously, this stuff is good, it's thick, it's good. It's real good, it's like sweet. And then that was from Trader Joe's. 
This is from Sprout. Sometimes this can be a hard ingredient to find. It's super cheap. It's $1.99 um, at Sprouts. It's like hidden in the corner of like sauces, liquid smoke. So you won't probably use this all that often. It'll last you a long time, but this is what makes things taste like bacon. And uh, I'm gonna make like a fake out bacon for one of these recipes as well. So I needed to get that. That's what really took me to Sprouts actually. I, I could have probably gotten everything. Um, although I don't think Trader Joe's has the stick butter, but I could have made it work with the other. And then maybe not the miso. So I had to do both. <laughs> um, I also have the Better Than Bouillon veggie base, which you can totally use too. But they had these right when I was walking in, this vegetable broth. And I was like, you know, I'm just gonna get this. It's just easier. So for the recipes too. And then, again, recipe needed some green beans. Otherwise, I have like the rest of the veggies that I need. So I got those at Trader Joe's. So here's what I wanted to go originally to Trader Joe's for. And I know it's kind of silly, but I'm, let's be real. I wanted it for photos. It is what it is, but they're super cute. So have you seen these circulating online yet? It's olive wood, cheese board, cutting board. Um, and they're all relatively the same shape, but they're all slightly different. And uh, I think these are so pretty, but I'm a little bummed because I did get my hands on two of them. I did, so you can see how they're kind of different looking. Even the shape is not perfectly, you know, the same. See how it kind of dents in right there? Just depends what piece of wood they were using, right? I like them. These are $12.99, but I guess they have, and I actually went to two Trader Joe's, um, I guess they have a big one. And I guess it's pretty big, it's $30, and they didn't have them. They said they were completely sold out and that they couldn't reorder them at this point in the season too. So I wanted to tell you that. So if you do see it and you really want it, just get it because they're not gonna be able to like probably restock them. Um, but I really wanted the big one too, but all in. So I got two of these small ones, but they're kind of cool. I thought it'd be cool just to like, you know, again, pictures. <laughs> that's the truth. So that's my little haul for you guys. But uh, yeah, I gotta get like, Everything together. Look, this is bad. Ah. I hate a messy kitchen when I'm doing like videos. I hate it. So I have to clean all that so I can re-mess it all up <laughs> before I even get started. I just can't, it's just no good. Anyway, thought I'd show you guys. So when did I check in with you guys? It was like 9.40, it is 2.30. <laughs> but look how good this looks, you guys. Oh my gosh, everything turned out so, so good. So I hope the footage did. I haven't edited any of it yet, but it's so yummy. I put it all away. Um, but just in case you missed the video, uh, you can kind of see, like it's already been sitting and it's just gonna thicken up even more, this gravy, it's so good. And then these came out so good too. I have not really done anything with acorn squash before. That's bomb, that's good. And it looks fancier than it really is. However, your girl burned herself uh, from the beginning, it's got like aloe kind of dried up on it too, but yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, so I'm putting stuff away now. There's the aloe. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I thought I would show you guys though. It came out really good. This potato mixture, I would say, cause I baked these potatoes and my inspiration, of course, with the chili lime seasonings, cause I always air fry that, right? I'm thinking for holidays, this seems a little bit more like, I don't know if the word's like aesthetically pleasing to like more traditional of how sweet potatoes kind of look um, when you have like dishes for holiday meals. But I would almost say still go the air fried route because when you do that, it becomes like a lot more like burnt looking. Maybe it doesn't look as good, but it's like it caramelizes each piece so much better. Uh, so I don't know, like either way, this is delicious too, but I'm just kind of thinking like, if you're really into that like caramelized taste, it's gonna make them even sweeter, maybe air fry them, but still, bomb, so good. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I would show you guys. <sighs> Do I look crazy? My hair. <laughs> I just left the gym and I'm in the Starbucks uh, drive-thru and uh, I gotta get one, I gotta. So I gotta edit today and do a voiceover and I'm hoping it's quiet. My house is never that quiet, anyway. Hi, welcome to the How are you doing? Good, how are you? Doing well. What can I get started for you? Can I do a venti Americano with three pumps of sugar free vanilla and light soy a, milk? A venti Americano with what? With uh, three pumps of sugar free vanilla. Three pumps of sugar free vanilla. And light soy milk. With light soy. 
and that'll do it. All right, and this is hot, right? Yes. Three ninety-five. See you at the window. Thank you. <sighs> we um finished up at the gym and uh, sat in like the steam room and I've been loving that. So I mentioned on last week's vlog that I have like a life update to give you and I'm gonna do that. I just have not had a chance to sit down and like talk to you guys about it. I had a plan to originally do like a get ready with me, like throwback Thursday, <laughs> old school, how I used to do my channel of like makeup and do the conspiracy palette because I got that in and I just haven't had a chance. But maybe with vlogmas and stuff too but i kind of want to give you like not leave you hanging but bottom line is uh i'm not at the same gym anymore and it's not for any bad reason whatsoever it was just that my contract was up and it was a hard decision it really was because i love where i was and but the bottom line is, is it was not cheap <laughs> and so i moved on from it um but i'm also with some people that i met at the original gym and we're doing this together and it's been great and Nate's like doing it too so anyway that's that's what it is in a nutshell um but I just kind of want to give you more of like where my head is with that and what that means and like what changes from that and stuff and kind of some of my like fears with it too but so far it's been great so anyway uh yeah just got done doing that it's almost 10 a.m but yeah gonna go home edit and see what happens I don't know I don't think anything else today I don't think that's not a bad thing though it's finally a day that like looks like fall and you can't really see but yeah it's really like overcast today it's the first it's been the 80s like what it is not fall so <sighs> I'm, I'm here for it okay anyway just got back home just got out of the shower finishing my coffee and uh gonna start this editing process. I haven't done a voiceover in so long that I'm kind of looking forward to it, but I'm also kind of like nervous. <laughs> like I don't remember how to do them. Anyway, uh, if you see all that back there, the Poshmark stuff, I have a lot of like kids clothes too. Uh, kind of got through like the summer stuff and put it all up. So if you like are interested at all, my Poshmark is linked below. I love Poshmark. What did I get recently? I just got, oh, I got another pair of the Buff Bunny uh, pants, finally in the black Luna leggings. Love them. I really do. Um, I'm also going to be doing, uh, I believe, this coming week. I don't know why I'm standing at the top of the stairs, but I am. Uh, a, like, try-on haul for this, like, new company. And I'm super excited about it. I haven't tried them, though, yet. So, I, and they're coming today, I believe. Uh, so, I got to put them to the test first before we share them. <laughs> but we'll see. I'm, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it because I'm very, like, I'm particular. I think most girls are, though, for, like what kind of workout pants and stuff you wear but I got like a pair of leggings coming in some sports bras which I'm also really picky about so <laughs> we'll see but I thought I'd give you an update too look at my burn yeah it's okay and uh, uh it wasn't too bad I thought it was gonna hurt like sweating and stuff but it really wasn't too bad okay so make me let's do the thing <laughs> you will always be there there's no doubt in my mind you will always be the heading out to see ya and leave the rest behind. Cause you will always be there. Cause you 